Hey loves, today I'm showing y'all how we make our number one seller, Sweet Caramel Lip Gloss. Hey loves, just showing you my face for a minute. It's your girl, lovely angel lady here. I'm gonna go ahead and start by sanitizing these hands. Always sanitize your hands and disinfect your workspace and glove up when you are working with products to sell for your customers. It is always better to keep it safe and sanitary. Y'all know that's the golden rule when you're making products for other people. So these gloves are latex free, powder free, got them from Amazon. We're gonna start off by going in with our liquid coconut oil. We are using three tablespoons of the liquid coconut oil. And then we're gonna go in with our grapeseed oil, which is also a liquid. And we're gonna do three tablespoons of grapeseed oil as well. And then we're gonna grab our refined, it's 100% refined coconut oil. And that's good and thick. It's gonna thicken up the lip gloss some, especially when you want that thick and smooth, creamy texture. You want that if you want your lip gloss to be good and pigmented. So that's what we're going for today. So yeah, that's what we did. We are going in with our deodorized cocoa butter wafers I love the number seven so I'm using seven sometimes I use six but I want it good and thick we want this to be really creamy and rich microwaving that for one minute while we do that let's go ahead and grab our lip gloss base I love the Versa gel from no problema it's my favorite y'all know that if you've been watching my videos so we're just getting the remainder of that and scooping it in the bowl yay so we're adding one tablespoon now of the polyisobutene but you want to allow that to cool for 15 minutes first okay now we're going in with Lynn natural our cosmetic preservative use yours of choice any cosmetic safe preservative and this is a light brown powder lip pigment so it's very pigmented I got this off of Amazon as well. Check the description box below if you'd like to know a list of products as well as where to get them from and how much they cost. We are going in with some mica powder. It's like a golden bronze color. Y'all, this is like having a mixing party because you just keep mixing until you get the desired color. We're going in with liquid white pigment. Now we're going to go in with some bronze and we also used chocolate brown. So that's multiple liquid lip pigments as well as mica powder as well as a powder pigment. Okay. We mean serious business today. Okay. We are trying to get the color we want and we are not taking no fun to answer. <laughs> All right, y'all, so now we're going in with our caramel flavoring oil. Mmm, it smells so good, y'all. I wish y'all could smell it. Um, but we're going with this. This is from Delosi Labs. And now we're going in to sweeten our mixture. And this is organic monk fruit sweetener. But we're using the caramel flavor because, you know, we want to go the extra mile, go the extra step, be a little extra, and make this girl taste and smell like caramel but you don't want to be sucking it down it's just you know a little flavor on the lips if you're hungry you gotta go get y'all something to eat <laughs> so anyway this is the desired shade my favorite part splash now we are marrying our oils and pigment with our lip gloss base and it looks like I'm going fast because the video is sped up, but keep in mind that you wanna take your time when mixing so that you get less bubbles. And I'm adding a little bit more white liquid pigment because it's not, it's a little too dark for my liking. 
but now that we have mixed mixed and mixed until our arm is about to fall off we got the desired texture color and everything this is sweet caramel baby we are going to fill tubes a little differently today I got this it's like a glass um, it's, this one's glass because I usually use a bottle that's plastic like a squeeze bottle this is a glass jar it's actually um, meant to pump honey so yeah it's a glass jar with a pump and it's strong enough because you know if you can pump honey and it doesn't break it's strong enough for lip gloss so I said we're gonna try this for y'all today so y'all know I'm always showing y'all different things if I figure out some way that's easier to do something I'm gonna show y'all why hate you know I want y'all to win too at the end of the day we all gotta win and that's enough for everybody to eat so if y'all have any questions or anything let your girl know it's a little messy so when you're done you can just get a paper towel and wipe the outside of the jar we're gonna go ahead and screw the lid on isn't the color gorgeous so we're going to go ahead and pump and while you're pumping squeeze the bottom gently and that will fill in any spaces or corners at the bottom of your tubes okay just a little tip to help y'all out you don't want to let it get too full before you start squeezing the bottom but it'll fill in any holes so that you're not like missing lip gloss on one side or you know something like that most of us that do this for a living we know all the different dilemmas and problems that you run into so if that ever happens to you that's all you have to do while you're filling the tube is gently squeeze the bottom of the tube and allow the gloss to flow all the way to the bottom super easy right so we just keep pumping and I'm gonna fill more tubes for y'all today because obviously this is quicker so just sit back and watch a girl fill these tubes
Alright love, so we ran out so we're getting the remainder of the gloss from the bowl and just scooping that into the glass jar. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And you're going to just repeat until you're done filling your tubes. Voila, just like that. Now it's time to seal them and cap them up so once you filled all your tubes you can just go in and do this for all of them and the process is just so much smoother and faster if y'all try this method let your girl know how it goes or if you've already tried a method like this or similar to this or if y'all have any other ideas you know I'd love to consider trying them out Y'all, the method to this madness is finally over. No, I'm just playing, but we are finally done filling tubes. We are going to give these girls a bath. Let's give these chicas a bath. We are going to use alcohol, okay? A little bit of alcohol and some Dawn liquid detergent. Just a little bit. Go ahead and toss those babies in. And you're going to put some hot water in there. And... It just removes the oil residue so when you stick your labels on they're not all sticky and nasty. Please subscribe and make it official. Join the fam if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, and share, please. Also, thumbs up if you did like this video and found it helpful. Follow your girl on social media, even Pinterest. I'll catch you next time, my loves. Later. Oh, 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 oh,